Great fighters need great fighters. It's, it's always been the case. There's no great fighter who has existed completely in a vacuum. That has existed throughout combat sports. Great fighters have always needed other great fighters in order to reach their full potential. For me, there's only one. You see, and that's, that's, that's the difference. It's only him. There's only him. And that's what drives me every day. Knowing that this guy right here, this guy right here, this young man has won every fight he's been in. He beat me, which says a lot to me. So it's only him. There's John Jones and there's me. Nobody else. My dream, my vision for myself is to be the greatest martial artist to ever live. So although I'm very aware that it's me and him fighting right now, I'm still looking at the bigger picture. Daniel Cormier is just a pawn in this, in this whole game. My life doesn't revolve around him the way his revolves around me. I'm reaching for uh, a level of greatness that I've never dared to reach for in the past. And I know in order to do that, I need to beat him again. Yeah, you know, I believe years from now, when people are talking about some of the greatest fighters that ever lived, you know, DC is just gonna be, he'll be my Frazier. You know what I mean? He, this isn't his story. He's living in my era right now. And I'm gonna prove that. When you look at DC, is he a legitimate champion? Is that the real belt or No, he never beat me. In order to be the champion, you have to beat the champion. You got the first one, but you do after the first one, we have many coming. He can beat every light heavyweight until he beats me. That belt over there is a piece of I'm here waiting for you, young man. You know it. I've been waiting for two years. He has the belt. He's not the champion. John, who are you to say who's the champion? You're some guy that doesn't even fight. He just said he's back, right? But is he back? Are you back, junkie? I'm back. <laughs> I'm back. You're a knob. Junkie whoops your <laughs> Daniel Cormier. Hey, Christmas cards now because the belt's going to be gone, Daniel. Let's go, man. Last time I was just fighting to win. This time I'm fighting to kick his John Jones is back. I'm going to go get what's mine. There's a lot of uh, great athletes throughout history who didn't live up to their potential, and they got in trouble, and they never came back from that. What my story will be is a guy who was blessed with many talents. Oh, my! That is a brilliant move. And his elbows are vicious. It's, happening. it's all over! John Jones is the youngest champion in UFC history! A guy who had millions of fans and millions of dollars thrown at him at a very young age. He is the present and he is the future and he might be the greatest talent that we've ever seen in the UFC. A guy who um, gave in to that stuff, temptation, started to party, started to do drugs. Breaking news just into Fox Sports 1. The UFC has stripped John Jones of his light heavyweight title and suspended him indefinitely after Jones is charged in a felony hit and run incident. Started to take his gifts for granted. The U.S. Anti-Doping Agency has informed John Jones of a potential anti-doping policy violation. A guy who was brought to his knees. What I would like to see is some kind of personal healing. I want to see John learn from this. He's not a bad person, you know? Man, he had it all, but just didn't see it. And a guy who made things right, a guy who changed, got his life together, and became even more extraordinary. It's not what happens to the man, it's what the man does when it happens to him. First time since 2011, a man other than John Jones will be called champion at 205. He's gonna tap. He's it is all over! Daniel Cormier It's the new UFC light heavyweight champion! Joe Rogan, no disrespect to you or the 16,000 people in this arena. But I have a message for one man. John Jones, get your together, I'm waiting for you. He was the champion. The day I got reinstated, that's when he was just the belt holder. That's when the true champion came back. He has the belt, but he's not the champ. You have lost your mind. Can he look himself in the mirror and call himself the champion, knowing he never beat me? No, we all know that. John Jones has been considered the best fighter of all time, and you know what? I have said it myself. But when I beat him and people start to consider me the GOAT, people start to consider me the best, it's probably how he felt knowing that he took my zero. He has turned exceptional fighters into mere mortals. John Bones Jones. Anytime you fight a guy, who's never lost to anyone, you know, there's questions. Does this guy have that it factor, you know? Does he have that gift? Daniel Cormier, 
John Jones for the light heavyweight belt. The night of the fight, I thought he looked good. He looked strong. Uh, he looked ready to fight, for sure. First three rounds were fairly close. Good straight left by John. Good right hand over the top by DC. Nice knee to the body by John. Bravo. Good combination by DC. Elbow in tight. Another one. Good old fashioned dog fight. Oh, it is a dog fight. You had two guys in there that were born dead even. And one guy stayed the course, one guy straight. I was the guy that strayed. Oh, sidekick to the neck. I won in the rounds where the hardest working guy was going to win. The guy who had more cardio, more endurance, more strength. When the going got tough, I pulled away with the fight. He fought a great fourth round and took momentum, and I could never take it back. Look at this. John take it down, DC. I was very impressed with his championship mental, his ability to stay the course uh, when he was tired when I was tired. Oh, big punches by John. Elbow by John. He's really taking it to DC. This ultimate grudge match. Look at this. Goes oh. the distance. It felt great to take Daniel Cormier's undefeated record. I do not like DC, and this is why I'm being this way. Now that I've beaten him once, I know that I can beat him again. You know, I know he doesn't have that thing inside that, that just doesn't allow you to lose. I learned a lot in that loss, man. I learned not to cut any corners. I learned how to train and prepare for a event of that magnitude. Baby, this team is unbroken. Let's go, baby. And still. At the end of the day, I'm the only guy to beat him. He had his very first title shot, which means I would imagine his coaches had him in the best shape they could possibly get him in, and he still lost the fight, which means you can blame it on being nervous, or I had never fought on that stage, or I had never fought a light heavyweight for five rounds. Whatever excuse you want to come up with for why you lost the first time, the truth of the matter is I am the alpha. He's looking at his superior, and he just can't handle it. <laughs> superior, yeah. you have lost your mind, son. Um, yeah. You have lost your yeah. I will make the changes necessary to get the job done. Mentally, I'm much better than I was last time. It was clouded with anger last time and just pissed off and resentment. This time, I have none of that. I still don't like John Jones, but I'm not going to allow him to dictate my emotions as I head into this fight. My mentality is different. I'm the guy that stayed in the game. Every guy that's been put in front of me, I took him out. Oh, my! That's Daniel Cormier, ladies and gentlemen. I've accomplished everything that I've ever wanted to accomplish. I mean, I could have walked away, but the competitor in me says that I have to right that wrong. Let's go, DC! Let's go! Let's go, champ! I'll be there with my championship belt. Let's go, champ! With my red wraps on my glove as I come out second, and you wait for me to walk to the octagon. We meet here. I'm the champion! It doesn't matter that I'm coming out first. It doesn't matter that I'm going to have blue tape around my gloves. At the end of the day, I know I'm a champion. I know I've never lost a fight. I have no doubts so of who I am, what I'm capable of. I went to fight last time. This time I'm going to compete, and when I go to compete, I get the job done. Daniel's reaching. He's trying to convince himself that he can beat me. He's trying to convince himself he's a champion. At the end of the day, when he gets in there with me, you know, he's going to know he's in there with the real champion. He's going to feel that presence. I can't lose this fight. Losing to one guy twice is like a death sentence. If you lose to one guy twice, there are no more title shots. You're just kind of floating around, and I care about my legacy. You know, DC needs to win the fight because he wants to prove to people that he's the real champ so his arrogance can grow. You know, I'm fighting for something way bigger than DC. The reason why I need to win this fight is because I need to get my life back. You know, everyone deserves a second chance and make things right, you know, and I represent starting fresh. You know, getting out of dark places in your life and believing in brighter days. You know, that's what I'm fighting for right now. This belt will always be mine. Whatever game plan you come up with, I'm going to improvise mid-fight, and I'm going to come up with a way to beat you again. No, you won't. I'm going to be in your face pressing you, trying to rip your head off every second of that fight. This is my life, and I'm willing to die to beat you. Be prepared to do that.